You might be Julie Keegan if you react violently to the taste of sweetened iced tea. <sighs> you might be Julie Keegan if you think that NFL football players who are pro bowlers are actually professional bowlers. Like, why are there so many people who are good at bowling in the NFL? You might be Julie Keegan if you really know how to throw a party. And these talents are also transferable to elementary school science fairs. If you have a book in your house that is solely dedicated to the topic of laundry, you might be Julie Keegan. You might be Julie Keegan if you drive out of your way for your soda. Because it can't be out of a can, it's got to be a large fountain drink. You can tell true Diet Coke from fake Diet Coke. Drink more Diet Coke than the rest of the state of Ohio combined. You also have a preference for ice and cups and straws. Your only caffeine comes from Diet Fountain Coke. And if Fountain Diet Coke is not available, you have a complex spreadsheet of Diet Pepsi in a bottle is acceptable, Diet Coke in a can is acceptable, and lots of other rules. You might be Julie Keegan if you're at a restaurant and you don't get waited on for more than two minutes, then it's time to go somewhere else. You might be Julie Keegan if you woke up and realized that I was going the wrong way. You might be Julie Keegan if you sit absurdly close to the steering wheel, kind of like this. Where's the nearest speedway? If you videotaped a transaction at Burger King. You might be Julie Hegan if you're the world's best travel agent. If you've left a trail of Pottery Barn employees in tears. You might be Julie Keegan if you thought you could drive without a license. If you will not let anybody else load your dishwasher. If you fly down to Texas to run a marathon, with your daughter. Then you come home and you take your father-in-law's car and you sell it in two days. And then you plan on driving to Minnesota to watch a volleyball game. And then you plan on going flying to Spain so you can take a 200 mile walk with your dad. If you know the words to every Elton John song and every James Taylor song ever written. If you get rid of melanoma, graduate from law school, and give birth all in one year. If you seem to subconsciously think that the best way to make an immigrant really feel welcome is just to take on their accent. If you took the bus along with your crew to the Ohio State Fair. You might be Julie Keegan if you secretly correct everybody's grammatical errors. Constantly correcting my English to improve it. You might be Julie Keegan if your desk setup looks a little something like this. I might be Julie Keegan if I was a math genius. If I was in a cop car, in the back of a cop car in Cincinnati about six months ago. And if you talk to her once a year and feel like you haven't missed a day. If the color of the clothing you're wearing right this second might best be described as citrus, you may also be Julie Keegan if on any major holiday or major sporting event, you have the sense that your neighbors are just awaiting your text to find out what time the party is. You might be Julie Keegan if it's a warm, sunny evening in the spring, there's baseball in the background. If it's 1030 in the morning on New Year's Eve day and you send an email out to your neighbors inviting them over for New Year's Eve. You might be Julie Keegan if you're the key to a strong school board. You know you may be Julie Keegan when you've dedicated thousands of hours to the Worthington Board of Education to make our community better. When you've been on the phone with Pottery Barn for three hours, but you're not getting off. When you need this much ice for this little Diet Coke. If you do more in three months than most women do in their lifetime, I want to be Julie when I grow up. If the highlight of your work week is walking to Speedway with Kayla to get Diet Coke, and you're not envious at all of my mulching and yard work. You might be Julie Keegan if you worked with okay. Bill in Fairfax City at BB&T, which used to be First Virginia Bank. So knowledgeable when you were closing home equity loans and so fun to work with and just so smart. If every little happy coincidence in life is just too Mayberry, it's just Mayberry. So Mayberry, I moved to Mayberry. Every time you see someone you know in public, you have to say the word Mayberry. I just bought you guys socks. God bless it.
you guys do not need new school supplies. I just found this pencil and this paper clip in the den and they will work fine. God, these people need help. You guys have to walk Winston because you wanted him. God bless it. You might be Julie Keegan if you had a lot of family and friends wishing you a happy birthday. You've made your parents so, so very, very proud. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Julie. I love you. Have a great 50th year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Julie. I love you. Happy birthday, Julie. Love you. Happy birthday, Julie. Happy 50th birthday, Mom. I love you. Jules, I love you dearly. Happy 50th birthday. And you are one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Seriously, Julie, I wish you 50 more happy, healthy birthdays. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Julie. Julie. Thanks for everything. Happy birthday, Julie. Happy 50th, Julie. We love you. Thanks for being a great neighbor. Happy birthday, Julie. I hope you're having an awesome birthday. You deserve it. Thanks for being such a wonderful friend. I'm so blessed by having you in my life. Happy birthday. We love you. As you turn over 50, I hope you get some energy. Where's the nearest speedway? Happy birthday. You're 50. You're 50. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy